welcome 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 back to my channel today i'm coming at y'all with another video you already you already know because i just want to say that i am killing this consistency bang bang because i was never this person and hello who is this every week there's a video okay not every week maybe like every week and then sometimes it's two weeks but anyway we're trying and we're doing pretty well so shout out to me today i'm coming at you guys with an interesting video um i did touch on this i did mention it on another video okay the the pregnancy announcement video i had mentioned that I will come back and like give you guys the 411 on my experience, but not only that, on what I have witnessed or what I have noticed or what I have learned, all of that stuff. Like you can see from the title of the video that it's a couple of things that they don't really tell us about pregnancy, things that I have come to realize, things that literally shook me things that literally made me like there's no way i've never heard of this before because guys realistically we know that pregnancy is a lot but with what is being portrayed out there they make it seem like yes you have a belly yes you're probably eating more than you usually do you might be tired from time to time so you might have to you know have your feet up or whatever but that's pretty much it like no one is really talking about the nitty-gritty of what is happening and what it's really really like so i was like you know what i'm tired of of the shock because most of my pregnancy especially in the first trimester that's why everything i'll be mentioning will reference the first trimester because that's when everything is really like forming the baby's you know is literally starting from the size of a peanut and developing into something you know um a fetus basically so that's when a lot is happening to your body and i feel like no one really talks about what really happens there so that's the the sole purpose of this video is to tell you guys all the secrets i'm gonna call them secrets because no one is talking about it huh okay so i'm helping everyone out there who had no idea well now you know please um bear in mind though that every pregnancy is not the same so things that i experienced are will obviously be different to somebody else but and as much as pregnancies differ, you cannot tell me that there are symptoms that no one is really talking about. Like th symptoms that we never even knew were a thing. Okay? Some things, I'm going to mention other things that are, part, are not part of my list. Things that I've read off the internet or on Twitter. Things that people have experienced. These were fortunately not my experience, but actually no because like these things could still happen but we don't know anyway i don't want to make this video long so let's jump right the first in. um thing that i'm gonna mention i'm gonna call them things i'm not gonna call them symptoms because they're not necessarily symptoms they could be side effects they could be symptoms as well um, i'm not gonna go in like a number system thing I'm just gonna mention these things because in okay i'm gonna mention these things in the way that i experienced it yeah, I think that's better. So I'm going to start with the first one. This one is very common. Everyone is mu very much aware of it, especially as a symptom. And that is morning sickness. A lot of people know that that's how you find out that you're pregnant. You will have morning sickness, like nausea or food aversions. You know, when you can't stand the smell of something, you know, that sort of stuff. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is that what I experienced is that it wasn't only a symptom. Literally throughout my first semester, I mean, first trimester, I was sick. Like, I could not stand 
any day in my first trimester like every day was just waking up with nausea every single every single literally every single day and the thing that makes it even more the thing that validates why it's on this list is because they call it morning sickness but it's actually all day sickness like you have it 24 7 24 7 guys i have to unlock this one because i keep forgetting the password which is the pits we're not going to talk about that right now anyway that's the first one um morning sickness which is actually all day sickness you get it in the morning at night in the evening afternoon all of that good stuff j u and nausea mm. the second one is also a very common one and i think this one okay might differ or in degrees in terms of you know our body types but weight gain guys like hello in my first trimester the weight gain like i felt like okay and i, I know that i'm a thick comes but i mean uh, baby girl you are getting thicker like i was i was eating a lot so it made sense why i was gaining weight but i think i've mentioned this before my body's like elastic like i'm very prone to gaining weight so you gain you gain some weight guys especially in like your second trimester when you look at yourself in your second trimester you already know about lit. like i'm in my second and i'm just i just keep picturing but now what am i gonna look like in the third trimester like how 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 are things going to be when i'm there and i'm almost there but i don't know i'm starting the gym now because i'm trying to like maintain i'm not really trying to lose weight i'm just trying to stay like healthy but your weight weight gain and then the third one is uh this one i'm mentioning because y'all need to listen because i saw someone's tweet a while back and someone was like oh maybe i'm gonna get pregnant so that i can avoid period pains that's it are you sure are you you are you sure that you want to get pregnant so that you avoid period pains because sweetie they are waiting for you this side period pains are waiting for you in your pregnancy like this was the biggest shock of my entire pregnancy journey or pregnancy what what the fact that i had to still endure period pains and sweet heart uh personally for me period pains would only would only be an issue once in the four days that i would have my cycle but with pregnancy oh i just had a cramp nyana just now just just now listen to me when i'm saying this in my first trimester i would have cramps at least every four hours at least at least every four hours and i'm being very generous because i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't keeping time but i had them so much to the extent where i remember i actually had to go um to the hospital to see if there was something wrong if i needed to go for a checkup you know because get they do i mean there's a lot i'm a parent person so there's a lot that could go wrong and i really wasn't expecting to be getting cramps but apparently it's normal you, basically it's just the fact that your uterus is stretching to accommodate the baby and this will happen throughout the entirety of your pregnancy because yes of course you're making room for your child so even in your first and second i'm not really sure about the third one but you're going to get cramps a lot so if you're trying to get pregnant to avoid period pains the joke is on you the third one is <sighs> now i need to i need to take a break for this one because i think people downplay this one because I guess we're not the same human beings in general so we might not have the same experience when it comes to comes to this but you know how they say in your pregnancy you get like emotional and whatever i think for me it's a different kind of emotional 
I do cry sometimes if I see people crying on TV. I do cry sometimes if someone wins something and they're emotional about it. But the reason why I put this on the list is because literally you lose your mental health. Because that's what happened to me in my first trimester. Like, I literally felt like I was in a depression. I felt like I was losing my mind. I, I genuinely felt like I was becoming a dark person. I don't want to go in too deep into this because I'm a better person now. Gross. But I do remember that in my first trimester, I was really, like, down and sad. Like, I felt pathetic. And... I, at this point, I remember when I started feeling like this, I wasn't even sure if I was pregnant. So it's quite dangerous because you don't know if you're really, really, really depressed. And you know it's side effects that depression, but they are a disaster. They could lead to the worst things. So that's um, another thing. Guys, I need to charge my phone. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and i was talking about mental illness and stuff but yeah guys um you might experience that but don't worry it will be over in your second trimester you'll be back to normal so fear not okay the second one okay not the second one i don't know what number i'm in the next one that i'm mentioning is um bathroom visits bathroom visits in your first trimester i'm not sure i can't remember what two week you experienced this but i think it's like two weeks that you might experience this and you go to the bathroom literally every single day um i've, I've forgotten like the the exact period that this happens or exact reason why this happens but i think i think your baby is is developing blood cells or something but that will then cause you to urinate a lot like a lot like i remember there were times where i would be woken up by the fact that i need to use the bathroom like i would wake up at 2 a.m to rush to the bathroom that's how bad it was so that's gonna happen so be prepared i hope you're not a heavy sleeper that way you can manage and i hope that whatever wherever your room is it's close to the bathroom because you're gonna have to make the pots to be done okay another one that i'm mentioning this one is very descriptive so i'm gonna run through it in case there are boys in the building i don't want to make them feel uncomfortable but what does happen in your first trimester and it does also overlap into your second trimester. I think because of your hormones, your body produces a lot of fluids, a lot of juices. So you're a lot of ju you're juicy, okay? You are juicy. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. Whatever you think that that is, it's gonna be that. Otherwise, you are a lot juicier. Mm, okay, this one I'm gonna mention. I'm almost finished. This one I'm going to mention because I experienced it. I experienced this. I, <laughs> I just experienced it. I keep forgetting everything. <laughs> like, I cannot speak. I forget every single thing. That's why this is my old phone. And I had to call my brother to ask him what the lock don't do is. Because I had forgotten. So you forget a lot. And they call it baby brain. And I thought it was a myth, but bruh, 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 bruh. Like, I can't remember anything. I can't speak sometimes. Like, I get the words wrong. Jay, it's the, it's the ghetto. It's the pits. Because now you look like you've never been to school. But anyway, yeah, you experienced that. I'm almost done. And, okay, this one I'm going to mention is also pretty obvious fatigue you will get tired a lot in your first trimester and i want to mention this and shout out to young moms because i cannot imagine well i can imagine um being a young mom and actually all moms actually like all moms 
I, I think it's, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but the fact that you have to work or go to school during pregnancy, man, it's a lot because the exhaustion is real. It's a person gets exhausted like normally, but when you're pregnant, you are tired. And this happens because even at night, your body is working. So obviously by the time you get up, you're tired from all the work that your body has been doing and that is forming the child. But I guess we make it work, you know, we make it work because who we'll run the world? <laughs> okay, the last one that I'm gonna mention, this one, this one, I have Twitter to thank because I did not know about this one until I was on Twitter. You know, um, I'm very much aware of the fact that sometimes babies are premature, so they, they're born before the nine months. But what I did not anticipate was babies being born after the nine months. So they, the, the, your, your pregnancy is prolonged. So, and they say that in, 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 something fell. In your first, um, uh, pregnancy, you're likely to be pregnant more than the nine months. And at this point, you should just say you're 10 months. Like, like you're going to be pregnant for 10 months and that's it. I was um, on a FaceTime call with a friend of mine. She's still pregnant. She was due in July. She's still pregnant. It's a shocker, but I guess that's what you sign up for, right? Anyway, guys, I'm turning red and I'm not sure how good the lighting is. So I'm gonna end this video here. I've fortunately gone through everything on my list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful for you guys and whoever is pregnant or planning to get pregnant. Um, this is a heads up to some of y'all. And this might be a warning to some of y'all who think that pregnancy is like this vacation where you're just like, oh, I'm a mom so I can just rest. Everything is a breeze. No, television has played all of us. So stay woke. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your notification bell thingy so that you always know when I upload a new video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the flip side. I love you lots.